Okay, so what I'm what I'm filming here could actually be um, a big disaster <laughs> because this is my first time at mounting an A3 picture. I've just done a video on a scenario actually of some A4 mounting um, because I hadn't got any empty mounts. Um, I haven't got an A3 picture. I've got some A3 mounts, but I haven't got any pictures to actually do. Uh, all my previous pictures of this have been A4. So I've got just gone and done a video doing a scenario using uh, or an already mounted board and how to do this. And then as I finished the video and I uploaded it to YouTube, what happens is through the post I get this. So my first a3 image for a competition entry. So this is a picture of some swans on my local pool just around the corner and this is one that I may wreck. <laughs> It'd be my first time at, at, at doing this on A3. So I'm going to try and mount this using some pre-cut mounting um, that I got from Amazon and I will put the, the name of the company because these are really really good quality mounts. So the pre-cut, you get 20 mounts, 20 backing boards and 20 clear wallets to put those in. Uh, and the price of those for A3 around £50. So for 20 that's not too bad a price, especially for quality products. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to get rid of the backing board, put that out of the way for now. and I've got the mount here and I'm going to place that upside down and you can see I've got it in this box now the reason for that is I'm going to be spraying it with this 3M mount spray that I've got I've got an old one here that I haven't completed yet so I'll use this up first so the 3M mount spray is really really good it's fantastic stuff it's uh, I've heard uh, that it's the best and I've certainly found it very good it's a glue spray so it's permanent so it's not something you want to use if you want to take things apart later on um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to mount the picture onto this frame now some people do the reverse they put the picture onto the backing I actually don't do that I find that more difficult because doing it this way I don't get glue all over the place where I don't want it. I'm just applying it to, to the area that I want, which will be the whole of the backing, and then putting the picture and the mount together onto the backing. And I'll find that way easier. So, I'm going to get the image and a pencil. And what I want to do is to place this so I'm I'm now looking at this edge. Uh, it might be easier for you to see on this side. What I want to make sure is I've got this white border along here, just along the bottom. From this company, they don't trim the bottom edge, and I quite like that because it lets me handle the the image easier. It'll also glue much better. So I'm looking at the edge here, and I basically want it about there. I want to overlap that much with more overlapping at the bottom because I've got a lot more to play with at the bottom so I'm just going to get that into position there and I'm going to put a mark with a pencil along here just a light mark Okay, so we've we've marked that side, and now I want to mark for the width of the photo. So I'm getting an equal distance each side of here, and I am doing this by eye. I think it's. Uh, Okay, for me to do that because I may not want it exactly. Okay, 
the correct distance apart because I may want to crop slightly more off the one side than the other. I've got a little more, more to play on that side I think. Or do I? No, I think I'll go for centre. Okay, so I'm going to mark the distance just by eye with a pencil. So I'm going to put a mark here and a mark here. So that's placing the image across and making just looking at the, the, the cutout there and the width of the picture. So I've got these marks to work to now. So I know that's the the bottom corner of my image and that one will be the same. Now I need to mark across there now. So I'm just gonna quickly just measure the distance to that line. So that, that bottom line is 10mm. Now it's important that I keep that bottom part because this is this margin is going to be much bigger obviously. So from there I want 10mm. So I'm just going to mark that. So one centimeter down. And that now gives me something to work to. I can move this line down, match up so I've got a corner, so my corner should be there. And the same on this side. So I've got my bottom lines worked out now so I can go to the to those two points, line those up. Once I've got that in line, what I'm then going to do is mark the top and then just check the distance that I've got. So I'm going to mark up here, I'm going to mark the corner of the image. going to move the photograph out of the way and just look at these distances and yeah that looks great that looks fine and because now I've centered the picture I didn't go for the for the off-center crop on the picture I know that I can flip this over I must remember that bottom on there because there's a bigger margin down there. And then I'll line this up with the corner points. And that's looking okay. Okay, now at that point, what I'm going to do is to get some tape. So I've got some uh, mounting tape here. And I'm just going to rip off a little bit and I'm going to tape down the corners. Now I'm not pushing it down too hard at the moment because I may want to remove it if it's not correct. So make sure that's nice and level, there we go. the top just making sure that's nice and even now you do actually leave this tape in place and you haven't got to worry it's quite thin and it won't show won't, you won't see any bulges or whatever when you actually uh, glue the image Okay, so now I've got that, it's going to hold the picture in place, hopefully. Let's just make sure that's put down. I'm going to turn the image over and check that everything's correct before I go any further. This is the most important point. 
okay and that looks pretty good to me and I'm just going to get a tape measure and check my horizon on the picture so let's just come to this side it's about 13 centimeters and that's fine okay so I'm just checking the horizons level <laughs> Because there's nothing worse than having a, a wonky horizon, so even if it was off slightly in the camera, it's right now. So, there we go. So, now what I'm going to do is very carefully lift this up and place this out of the way. And get the backing board. Making sure this is nice and, nice and clear. And I'm going to put the backing board down in the box. And this is why I put it in the box because what I'm going to do now is to use this spray. Now I'm going to come over this way slightly and block the lens of the camera when I do this. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to, the only reason for that I don't want glue all over my, uh, my lens to so move it this way and I might be alright then. should be okay now. So I'm going to spray this way, up and down, coming down up and down all the way across there. When I get to the end then I'm going to revert to this side and come this way or vice versa. So I'm going to start from this edge. And now I'm going to turn around just smell this stuff. Make sure you get right to the corners there we go. So that's that done. Just pong a bit. Okay. Now, the next important part. I'm going to leave that for a few seconds. Uh, just to go off slightly. Don't put your image on there straight away. Just leave it for, a, for about 20 seconds. Just for the glue just to start to go off. And then... <coughs> I'm going to get my picture and I'm going to line up the corners to the back of the outboard. So I'm getting the two corners lined up on the top edge. This is the most important part, take your time. And then carefully drop this down. into place. There we go. Now I'll get my clear plastic and some people use a roller, some people use a card. I find this works great. So there we have our mounted picture. And my heart's still beating, but it worked okay, no problems with that, there's no bubbles, absolutely no problem. And I think that's uh, not a bad job, so I need to store that now on the flat. Let's get rid of this. Keep that nice and flat now. And now I'm on this flatter surface. I'm going to use some nice clean piece of uh, paper just to go over and make sure everything is sticking down. And this is really good, this um, 3M mount spray. It does a really professional job. And all the reports I've read on it say the same thing. It's uh, 
it doesn't come apart when people hang their pictures up on a fire off and anything like that where you've got eating or anything it doesn't uh, suddenly fall to bits and just on that you can see really that it's, you know it's not that difficult to get a nice professional looking mount <laughs>